Good morning. It's early this morning. I just wanted to uh, kind of make a video. I am going out and checking on everything. Uh, we had a really small pop-up storm yesterday, so I just want to come out and check on everything. Um, make sure all the corn stayed up and uh, check on my all my chickens and chicks this morning. Um, but I want to take a second just to make a video to kind of introduce myself. Um, my name's PJ, and I am from a small town in Indiana, uh, Bourbon. And I've always had a, a desire to, to have my own homestead. And for years I've talked about, um, you know, buying a piece of property and so I can have that out in the country and, you know, get a nice tractor and the whole nine yards. And so I've been talking about it and thinking about it for years, but never really acted on it. You know, and I spend all my time on YouTube and, you know, reading magazines, books, researching, homesteading, and this whole coronavirus thing hit. And I was out in the backyard one day, and I'm a spiritual guy, so I was sitting there just thinking and looking at the state of the country was in and how uh, how so many people were buying up all the food and then the toilet paper and, uh, and then the shortages when the processing plants went down, and I'm like, Man, I've got to start getting serious about this homestead thing. And I got looking and I'm like, why do I need a piece of property out in the country when I got this backyard and it pretty much is doing nothing? I mean, I already had chickens. I've had chickens for years um, and bees. I'm, I'm a beekeeper, so I had that going. But the whole, the whole meat shortages and and different things that happen really got me thinking um so i decided to uh start doing more of the urban homesteading um i started watching a lot of stuff on it and reading on it and there's a big movement but there's not too many videos that explains the different challenges that you have in an urban setting um, we have to deal with um, a lot more issues like ordinances, um, neighbors, things like that, um, higher water bills. Um, so there's different challenges and I just hope that I can get some people to, to take this journey with me and uh, like and share my videos so I'll keep making them. and. Um, get involved and if you're on the same journey I am share your stuff with me because um, everybody looks at things different so we can all learn from each other or different ideas how to make this urban homesteading uh, movement even bigger so I'll be posting videos fairly regularly um, I'm furloughed because of the COVID still. Uh, I've been off for about 13 weeks and uh, money's tight, but man, I've got a lot of projects done, so I can't complain about it either. So like I say, I'll be making a lot of videos, uh, posting a lot of stuff. Um, I hope some things that I do can help others. And like I said, I'll share your stuff with me as well. Um, because it's all about just bouncing ideas off each other and learning to make this thing, this movement really take off. And uh, so people start turning their their yards and properties back into edible resources instead of just grass. Um, I mean, you can definitely see my property line. My property line ends where the weed and the clover stops and the the green grass begins so um, I hope you follow along and like I say like and subscribe to my videos um, that way it 
encourages me to keep making them and uh, I'll get some new content up as fast as I can um, I'm new to the whole videoing and editing thing so so they may not all be pretty um, like like a lot of the ones on YouTube are but follow along and I'll follow you back have a good day